Tour in Port Royal. Yeah. You'll for it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Greetings. Oh. Howdy. Yeah, I miss, I miss music here when you're firing, huh? Right, I'm busy at the park. Oh, you're an empire? Yeah, I'm not a smoke with you. Fantastic. Let's go on a tour. Hi, I'm Damon. Yeah, my name is Andrew Boyd. From Seattle. I'm excited to be in Port Royal. Yeah, well, you're speaking to a resident of Port Royal. Oh, fantastic. People still live in Port Royal. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'm just outside 2,500 individuals. Wow. 2,500 people in that room. Just outside that. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn off my camera in a bit, but I want to maybe introduce yourself and say what we're doing. I'm a writer from Seattle. No problem, sir. So, yeah, so can you give people a quick synopsis about Port Royal that... Uh, I know a lot about Port Royal. I don't know everything, but you know the most. Can you tell me something about this for people who never heard of Port Royal? Yeah, well, truth be told, Port Royal began its history in the 1600s to be regarded as an island. So in size, the city was approximately 60 acres of land, completely surrounded by the Caribbean Sea, and it had a population consisted of up to about 8,000 residents. Persons who lived here came from England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Persons were taken from Africa and enslaved here in Port Royal. And um, actually, the town was um, basically categorized as the gateway into Jamaica, and it was mostly known for piracy and extensive trading. Actually, pirates were here working for King Charles II. Their job would have been to sail their vessels and plunder from countries in Europe and in the Caribbean. So the city of Port Royal was their safe haven or storage area for wealth. So to protect those wealth, they actually built five fortifications to encircle Port Royal. Today, this tour is being conducted by myself, Andrew Gordon, curator here and tour guide at Fort Charles. And we showcase two museums, which inside the, the glass cases here, we showcase exhibits which were retrieved from the sunken city of Port Royal. The town actually flourished for about 25 plus years as the richest and most sinful cities on earth. But um, it actually came to a halt when a catastrophic earthquake struck on the morning of June 7th in 1692. That earthquake struck the island, 2,000 residents died instantly. 3,000 succumbed to injury, fever, and vandals who fell upon the suffering and dying. So in total, 5,000 residents died. And all the structures here in Port Royal were built on white sand. So after the earthquake, a tsunami followed, which came from the low seas known as the Kingston Harbor. After that tsunami, approximately 35 acres of the city buried some 30 feet into the Kingston Harbor. So due to the happening of the 1692 earthquake, actually more than half of the city sank into the Kingston Harbor and more than half the population died. 5,000 died out of a 7 to 8,000 population. Thank you. Excellent. It was an annihilation event right there.